Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Ravenschild. Today I have a bit of a progress report for you. We take a look at the stuff I've done in the meantime. I am still working on the whole machine, building out the outer shell and all that stuff. I, I, I'm still searching for ideas constantly to, don't know, to make the the shape somewhat interesting at the moment it looks a bit like a turtle or a, some form of animal i'm i'm not sure uh, nothing fast that's that's definite you can see that i'm i'm starting to shape um, a bit of a cockpit in the front here i want to have two seats here that that can be used with some glass over them and then I have some rooms here, I've shaped them out to be able, so I'm able to get down here too and have a walkway over to the cockpit area down here. I, at the moment I'm starting to put in some weight in the front because I need a counterweight for the back. We will go to that in a sec. Um, I'm not sure what to do with the interior here. I now have a walkway this will not be a walkway this will be basically the outer outer perimeter the wall outer perimeter the wall of the whole thing but i have an, a, a relatively relatively big open space here and if i can get rid of the of the line here i don't know i could add I'm not sure what yet but i i have some space then that i can use to maybe fill up yeah <laughs> yeah the weight thing the weight thing really starts to be an issue you can see the center of mass here that's uh, I'm constantly looking at that um, now it's somewhere here and we have it slightly to the back I will have to counteract that somehow with more wheels to the back or maybe um, I will shift some of the machines to the front to um, yeah to balance it out kind of so that we get the the set of mass roughly somewhere here in the middle maybe a bit more to the front <laughs> uh, the the weight of the materials and uh, you can take a look at that here the beam drill is doing a good job here with carving out material and we, at the moment we we have a good amount i can build more and then we can start to go to other places and find more stuff there that we need i will remove this and um, place this somewhere else all that stuff i need some more ice that will be a project for the next week although the project i decided for the next week will, will be something not completely different but i want to have a bit of a wheel shuttle or something like that a scout car for the for this thing and maybe we can find a way to pick it up i still need a ramp that's also a thing we need to address and take a look at um and we we could see if we can combine that i'm i'm not too sure yet how we should do that but i have some ideas it's uh, it's mainly a, an idea that comes from a reddit post i saw someone posted a nice cool cool shaped car and i i will take definitely inspiration from that and um, see that i can build something similar it's a bit kind of in the direction of the don't know the pet mobile the nolan bat mobile now we have to so many bat mobiles that we need to we need to talk about whatever bat mobile we have there I, uh, so you can see that i've done more work here at the nanites i'm starting to upgrade them with um some upgrades and yeah uh i moved removed some of the cargo containers i have n enough space now in the back here to be able to yeah really uh, store everything I need back there 
So one thing, uh, one observation I have is uh, the thrusters. I had the idea to put thrusters around that thing to yeah maybe be able to uh, lift it up in, if it ever comes into a bad situ situation. That might not be possible. We can take a look at that. The, the thrusters, the big thrusters, as far as I know, are able to lift uh, 400 tons when they run fully. And this whole thing starts to weigh more and more. So we would need a lot of thrusters on all sides. So, not sure if that will be really possible. Uh, what I want to do is I want to have some thrusters to maybe aid with climbing up steep hills or something like that. Maybe even uh, stopping the whole vehicle. I, I noticed that these brakes and all that stuff, they this doesn't work. Sometimes when that thing rolls, it rolls and it is not... Yeah, it's not able to, to stop itself. So we need to address something like that. Yeah, the Atmos Scout, I worked on it and now it's flyable again uh, in, a normal, in a normal way. I don't know if I can get it back up into orbit. We will have to take a look at that and maybe see. Uh, one thing I notice still, and maybe that comes with the next update, is that the thrusters are missing at least the last time they were so the the big thrusters for the small ships they are missing i can't use them and i would like to use them on the Atmos scout but i can't have to use the normal thrusters here uh, i asked you in the last episode nobody nobody answered if you have the same problem if um, if it's a problem that I have with my mods or if you can build the small thrusters, uh, the iron small thrusters, uh, big thrusters, big thrusters, iron big thrusters for the small ships because every other, th every other thruster I can build but I can't build these and I have no option to pick them out somewhere out of the, out of the, the menu here you you have some of the some of the blocks you can you can just pick up and then build but i didn't see an option for the big iron thrusters so yeah maybe answer answer that if you if you have a solution for that or if you know if that's a known bug um yeah i will keep building at this thing so the next that in the next week we we have some more progress i want to start building the basically the top of this thing and have a way to park the atmos scout at a better place maybe on top of the whole structure um, i want to have it go up from somewhere here a bit and then uh, have not sure a flat surface or something like that go up a bit again to connect to this thing so that we can put some solar panels on the top um, maybe uh, oxygen farms or something like that we will see and uh, have yeah a platform for the atmos scout i need some ladders up there or some way to go up there we will find that and uh, maybe uh, yeah maybe we want to add something or i want to add something like a crane so we could pick up some stuff i'm not sure yet how how this whole thing uh continues on <laughs> it's it's crazy i'm i'm more and more afraid to put this thing on the wheels because i don't know if the wheels just explode if I just lower it down. Uh, <sighs> this, yeah, this makes me, <laughs> this makes me a bit afraid of what, <laughs> what else, 
uh, will happen. Maybe we need to add some more wheels. That that could also happen. So let us take a look at the resources I gathered. I have at the moment uh, 32,000 iron. That's not much. We will need definitely need more. The the iron reserves I brought down was I think around 60k and you all saw how fast that yeah went away basically that's not too good I, but at the moment I have some steel plates so I can continue building here and uh, all the other stuff uh, I had to get some gravel for the for the reactors but now I will turn off the gravel grabbing or <laughs> stone grabbing from the from the beam drill you can see that at the moment it's a bit hard to navigate that thing because if you if you want to walk and not fly over stuff then uh, yeah then you have to go around it and that's that's the thing i need to find a way to maybe attach some conveyor tubes to the bottom and maybe from here or so use the reactor as hmm, we could see hmm we could see if we can use the connector from the from the nanite factory to connect to the rest maybe we can get rid of these conveyors and then have another connection from somewhere here to the front i could go through that it's at the moment hidden relatively well i have this lip down here that basically makes the the belly of the beast a bit more roundish and then again set up some uh, machines in the front here that's one thing i could do uh, have the refinery maybe i could lie down the refinery something like that not too sure let us take a look at it uh give me the oh, okay i need the refinery <laughs> And then maybe an assembler also. I, I, I'm i really starting to like, don't know if I told that to you. <laughs> I had a mishap, a recording mishap. And uh, now I'm, I don't know what I told in the other recording. So be careful here. Uh, so turn this around. Maybe like this. And hmm, we could go with another one here or we could use some assemblers to counter the weight of the refinery. Now you can see the it's not too bad at the moment, but the weight could shift a bit to the right. That That's a thing we don't necessarily want, so we need to add some... To add some... Uh, Assemblers as counterweight. Good. We can remove this at a conveyor here. <laughs> See, I'm. Th that's a thing. I'm. I'm always starting to. I want to just talk about that, and now I'm. I'm right back into setting things up. I <laughs> concentrating on progress reports is is hard if you have so much still to do and we need to test ride that thing into orbit again i want to see if in the orbit everything's fine maybe we can start to build at least a small base on the ground for a portal or something like that um, i would like to have a way to get back to the main planets to see if everything there is right. Uh, <clears throat> if you're out here, you you miss home and you want to see uh, if everything 
everything is okay in the in the <laughs> in the home system basically home system it's all in one system but the whole planet and the home planet is the moon and it's i can't even see it from here that's so sad um yeah another thing i want to go to this moon and see what's up with that this seems to be an ice moon maybe we can do some uh, ice mining there set up something i i have no idea for that we need to scout that out and the atmos scout might be the the best thing to bring us there yeah the next big aim is to get this thing functional to drive it a bit and see what we can find on mars's surface if we find something interesting uh, i want to see if we can get to this big mountain Ma maybe set something up there then and uh, yeah the next goal for the next don't know how many episodes at one point will be yeah, getting there another trip to there setting up communications uh, maybe from mars to here we we will have to see what brings us um yeah to the alien planet and see uh yeah on the alien planet i might want to activate the spiders i want to see them how they how they look never i've never seen them in the survival world and so we we should go there and um, finally find them at one point but for the future for the future now aim is get this ready um, get a stable connection to into orbit I need to set that up I have no I need to set up a communications network I'm not not sure how to do that now but I want to be able to basically go around the planet with antennas. A good way to do that will be the laser antennas and then maybe set up antennas in orbit that can that we that we are maybe able to get very very close to the surface of the planet and then uh, to be able to <laughs> to have uh, connections to the other side of the planet with the laser antennas we can only yeah we can only contact the stuff that's in orbit there and if we drive a bit more that could we could lose the connection to that good people i think that's all for today again this was just a progress update and a bit of a, uh, an update what i have in mind for the next few episodes and um yeah again next week small car project all that stuff could be interesting and i again want to get more shape into this thing here good people uh, i hope you liked the episode if you did then please leave a like on it leave a comment if you have ideas or something like that i still need ideas for rams i or a way to get into this thing without uh, a jetpack for example and um yeah people <laughs> i hope you uh, i hope we will see us in the next week i would see see ya guys